Once a year lasagna. Once a year lasagna. Once a year lasagna! Here we go. Good look at it. See the egg and the sausage and the meatball and all that. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> oh my gosh. You gotta be joking! Oh. Yo, what's the best lasagna in Italy? Well, it depends on whom you ask, but according to some, Positano. They have a lasagna that is so off the hook, it's so wild, it's so rich, that the people of Positano were only allowed to eat it once a year. Have you ever heard of Positano? No, never. Have you ever heard of Positano? I don't know what that is. Have you heard of Positano, Italy? Yeah. You live there. I live there. So, it's safe to say that the things you get in Positano are only available in Positano. <laughs> Where is Positano? I'm gonna leave that to Pia Catapan. She has been incredibly kind in providing the video shots for this video. Thank you so much, Pia. Welcome to Positano, folks, on Italy's beautiful Amalfi Coast. Tonight we're going out for our first dinner. So yeah, I'll make sure I video everything. is known for the beautiful beaches, the mountains, and perhaps what is Italy's most amazing lasagna. And by what is probably the most amazing stroke of luck ever, the owners of Renzulo happen to be from the area near Positano. They can teach me everything I want to know. So when we don't order anything, they just bring everything out. And the mum makes all the food in the morning, like the homemade pasta. And yeah, so we don't know what we're going to get. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Just like with my panini video, I went to Renzulo, the experts in Italian food, to get all of my Italian ingredients for this dish. Thank you so much again, Franco and Alessandro. You want olive oil? They got every olive oil you'd ever want or need. All right, check this out. These are colomba, and these are like an Easter version of a panettone. And you can only get them at this time of year because we're coming up on Easter. This is Franco's special grappa. And this is totally not for sale. I'm so lucky. Alessandro is such a patient teacher. Here he is teaching me how to use my new pasta machine. Okay, uh, semolina. Farina doppio zero, devi mischiarla insieme. Ricotta salata. Provolone galbanone. Hey doggy, are you are you the little Italian dog who guards the shop? Hey little guy, are you the Italian Easter bunny? Give me your Easter luck in this video, eh? It has to specifically be San Marzano tomatoes from the area around Mount Vesuvius. Now the problem is the seeds are bitter. Okay. Well, the only way to deal with that is to strain them out. This is working out. If Maple Cook can do it, then you guys can too. Yep, that's right, because Maple Cook's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. it's a very strained content of the tomato can. Ugh, pork ribs. Wow. Oh, look at the striations of fat. That's all flavor. There you go. Pork ribs. Italian sausage. We just squeeze it out of its skin because it's fresh, right? Like toothpaste. That's a bad image. Sorry. <laughs> we're just going to squeeze that out for its meat and uh, we're going to fry it before we make it into sauce. And it's going to lend all its flavor from the pork, from the fat, from the spices to this wonderful, wonderful, amazing sauce that we have. Yeah. yeah. It looks kind of... Awful if you're in the wrong mindset. <laughs> <laughs> Which we usually are, but... Yeah. Well, you know me by now! Yeah, I know what to expect. Oh, man. No! <laughs> I'm glad you didn't just replace one of the letters, man. <laughs> Rhyme with maple sock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a parent's fault. Why am I being blamed for the parenting show? Man, that looks disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> Do we eat it or did we eat it? Like, what, what? <laughs>
Keep the end result. Keep the end result in mind. Yeah, well, it's kind of hard not to. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at it through the lens, and it doesn't look any better, I think. I don't think it... It's like, it's just... Wow. Wow. You know, I always thought it weird, like, who invented sausages? Yeah. Because, you know, when sausages didn't exist, somebody had to have the idea. <laughs> like, can you imagine how that conversation went? Hey, what are you doing? Shut up. <laughs> I got an idea, it'll work. Are you sure? Yeah, come back in like an hour. And then you show up, right? And these are there, like... <laughs> Here, eat it. <laughs> I'd be like, no way, man. Get help. <laughs> Get help. Get help. <laughs> oh, these are really spicy smelling. They're awesome. Really, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that was gross, the way that moved. <laughs> that was just gross. <laughs> that was just that, Yo, everything man. about that movement was just like, nope. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to keep the camera still. I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying, trying to, to keep it clean, but yeah. just look at this stuff. Yeah. Trying to keep the camera frame still, but it's kind of hard. If you to, do today. this at home, you'll realize exactly what I'm going through, man. Look at that. Just I think, think, it's not in slow -mo. That's real time. <laughs> <laughs> that's real time, folks. Oh, my gosh. All right. Ah. All right, so that's about enough meat, right, for a, for a sauce? I guess so. Yeah, all right, I'm just going to put these away for later. Oh, this must be how dog owners feel. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo. All right. This is the shape <laughs> and, the, and the feel in your hand. We should, uh, we should cut. We'll just edit that out later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we're just going to dump our veggies in. You can hear them sizzle. Oh yeah. Oh. And we're just gonna tease those flavors out of there gently. Keyword gently. Now, later on we'll put in the meat. Man, that still looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets any better. It just looks as so horrible as it always did. They'll look a lot better after they're cooked. Dump, Dump it all in. <laughs> oh man, that is beautiful. Wow, it already smells amazing. It does. Oh. And it hasn't even had any time on it yet. You just wait. We're gonna put in our tomatoes now. Oh, it up. Oh, yeah. Ah. That Italian tomato sauce. Fresh ricotta from Rensula Food Mart. Okay, I gotta admit that I screwed up a little bit. I should have taken some Italian white wine and deglazed my pan with it after frying the meat, but I totally forgot. I didn't remember till the middle of the night, uh, about three hours after I started this, so here I am pouring Italian white wine into it to make up for it. I know it's not quite as good as deglazing, but still, the end result was fabulous, believe me. Voila. Dang, man, that looks dank as f bro. Jeez, just look at that, right? Like it's Holy. full. Holy! It's, it's full of flavor. Can y'all see that? Let me show you how the meat has turned. Already. Oh, Whoa! Damn! Dude, look at the quality of that sauce. It's all ever, rich. Did y'all ever think that there was gonna be slow roasted lasagna? Did, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? No, did it fall right off? It just came right off. Well, I got right, it on there's camera. There's the bone right there. Damn! Right. Wow! I gotta have a piece of this. What do you think? Dude, get at it. Get this Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Damn! Oh, wow! That looks that looks here. immensely good. I'm gonna give Thunder Jack a bite of this here. Put that in your mouth. Eat it and tell me what you think. <laughs> wow. Delicious, right? That is like the best pork I've ever had. <laughs> really? Wow. That's the thing, I don't usually eat pork either. I limit myself for pork. It seems like you keep making me enjoy things that I usually don't enjoy. That's the funny thing. That's right. I wake up every morning trying to corrupt you. If I'm separating the red sauce, what the heck is the other non-red sauce? That's going to have ricotta in it. So you know what? I'm going to add it little by little until it gets to the right color. Well, I got sauce on me. Oh, gosh. Oh, well. It's just that kind of a day. It's just that kind of a day. <laughs> I thought usually with lasagna, it's supposed to be like a layer of... Ah, the ricotta cheese. With normal lasagna it is. But this oh, yeah. is this is the special lasagna from Positano. Okay, we're and doing they, we're doing it different today. That's right. And they put their ricotta into the sauce. Whoa! 
I did it wow. again. This cheese looks kills. It is. It, it's good on its own. All these things are so good on their own. When we actually put them all together, it's gonna be flavor overload, I can tell. And now we're gonna add milk to the thing because that's what the recipe says to do. All right, so I got the milk in there oh. and I'm just gonna mix it around. Ah, oh, it's cold. Okay, that's very unpleasing to watch. <laughs> wow, hope it tastes better than it looks. All right, so it's been soaking for a while. I squeezed all the milk out. This is very, very milk infused. Now we have our ingredients for our meatballs. Parmigiano Reggiano from Italy. I went out of my way to get the double age stuff. We're just gonna grate it. That really rich parmigiano -y smell flavored. Oh, when you taste this in the lasagna, it's gonna come, it's gonna come screaming through. Woo! Yeah, this is gourmet ground pork too. I don't know if I told you that. Oh, wow. Veal. Milk soaked bread. Omega-3 egg. Doesn't have to be, but you know, if you want the best of the best. Maple cook, why is there an egg in it? It's a binding agent. So I spent a lot of time in remedial. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that even mean? Classes for kids who are slow. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe anyone thought I was unintelligent? Can you believe it? <laughs> Silence, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Disagree with me or something! I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You're laughing, man. <laughs> I can hear you smiling. Now I just form in the little meatballs about that size and they'll be ready for frying. On this machine, it's two minutes at 374 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 uh, Celsius. And there you go. Ooh, they're lovely, eh? Those look great. They're, they look perfect. What? What kind of flour are we using today? All right. Well, you know it's going to be all from Italy, right? One is the double zero flour. Now, this is Italian semolina flour. What combination? It's up to you. Some of them say 50-50, some of them say 80-20. It's really what you like. I'm going to go 75-25 because that's the kind of guy I am. If you uh, want to do this traditional, like the traditional Italian way, like the way the nonnas do it, you got to bless the eggs and the flour before you put them together. Like I know that young Italian people don't do this. It's talking, I'm talking really, really old school. Nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Well, like, like any nonna's gonna tell you, man. Ogni volta che si incomincia una cosa che deve crescere, si fa la croce. And what does that mean? Dude, read the subtitles. <laughs> Yo, what subtitles, bro? <laughs> Right, go, so go, go! We're just gonna add the egg to the flour. With put it in the kitchen. All right, you see how it's forming into a dough ball right now? This is about where I'm gonna say it's done. I'm just gonna cover it. This could be a wet tea towel. So now we're at this stage, everything is rolled out. Cut it so that you can manage it. This is way easier than... If I had to worry about feeding the pasta in the machine with both hands, while cranking it as well, that would have been hell on earth. Assembly, baking, and then serving, all right? So, first thing you do is lay down sauce that we made for seven hours. Oh, don't you have to boil it first? The physics behind it say that it's going to cook. <laughs> so you can see I'm just layering down the lasagna noodles. This is the uh, the actual meat. And next, <laughs> give it you know the little, little meatballs that we made. Next, provolone, look at this, look at this, look at this. And you can just scatter them as you like. Side <laughs> sauce back on. Ooh. Another layer of pasta. Parmigiano Reggiano. What next? We're gonna spread that on the on the top. See. Alrighty. So we're getting there, man. Next, we just gotta bake it. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's beautiful. Dang. Look, that's basically perfect. That's what you want. Everything's melted, everything's cooked. So there's no way you can eat it right now. There's absolutely no way you can eat it right now. You gotta let this sit for at least an hour. Ideally, you'd make it in the morning, you'd eat it in the evening, but it's already the middle of the night right now, actually. So we're gonna let it sit for an hour and then we're gonna feast, guys. Peace. Ordinarily, you could serve it just like this. It's meant to be served like that, but you know me, I gotta be extra, I gotta maple cook it up. So I got some genuine from Italy ricotta salata. And here we go. Put down a little bit of that first, and then 
gonna put down my chiffonade, which you saw me make earlier, right? Sheesh. For that fresh basil flavor. And then some diced baby tomatoes, cause they're beautiful. I love that freshness, di cotta salata. How could you not love that, right? Nah, fam, this there is, oh. this has been a long time coming. Voila. Here you go, my friend, enjoy. All right, broski. 12 hours of effort. Oh, there it goes, man. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> yes! Jeez, look at that. Give me a sec here, I'm gonna slay this. Holy, oh. Damn. Yo, this is easily your best creation yet. Really? How does it rank to every other lasagna you ever had? Were those even lasagna? This thing is fucking insane. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Damn, I am so happy you're liking it. Dude, like, this is not gonna be enough. <laughs> All right, so there you go. We did the once in a year lasagna and it was a roaring success. He's enjoying it. Salute! Say what you just said. Bro, I have, I don't think I've ever been this full of my <laughs> life. And I'm defeated. I'm <laughs> defeated right now.